Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about Pontiac's top of the line deal in 1953, a 53 Pontiac Chieftain convertible. Give you all the details in but a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest edition, and it's a convertible, and it is a beauty, a 1953 Pontiac Chieftain convertible. I'll tell you what, you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish because we do a cold start, we do a walk around, give you all the details. Now, if you want to click on the link in the description, it will take you right to our website, and our website being www.ellingsunmotorcars.com, where you'll have all the information on this car, pricing, and you have access to our over 100 additional vehicles we currently have in stock. So if you want to take a look at those, that's a wonderful thing, and that's what we use that website for. It really is a great uh, tool for you if you're looking for all the details on our cars that we currently have. And we have cars from the 1920s all the way up into the 80s and beyond. So if you're looking for your first or your 100th collectible, odds are Ellingson Motor Cars probably has your dream car sitting on the sales floor, and you don't even know it. Let's get into the details of a Pontiac. I mean, Pontiac was like number five in terms of domestic uh, popularity, if you will. They were really had a good share of the market. And so 1953 was kind of a big change over a year. <clears throat> they did a lot of changes uh, style-wise to make the car look better, whatever. Love the fact that Pontiac still likes to have that big chrome piece that goes down the hood. You know, they had it either the two pieces or in this case in 1953, the one piece. The other thing that is really neat about these cars, don't you just love that light up Indian head in the, uh, the hood ornament itself? Going down the road when you see the car coming, boy, you could see that coming and go, oh my gosh, what is that? It's, is that a Hudson? Is that a Pontiac? Or several of the manufacturers out there actually did that, but the Pontiac was really, really a neat one. They also had the fog lamps on this car as well. Now, the car has been refinished and it's an original Linden Green, which is really a 50s color, if I have to say so myself. And as I said, it's got the straight eight, the 268 straight eight motor. Good motor that Pontiac used for quite a number of years. And they hooked it up behind the hydromatic automatic transmission. So there's a car that, you know, the average person can just jump in and drive and go down the road. It also has one really nice feature that was very early on, in 1953, this actually has power steering. Another one of those things because big cars, you know, like this, whatever, to parallel park or whatever, it's just a nice feature. And a lot of people really like it. So cars with options like that seem to be very popular these days. The other thing that the car recently had done, got a set of brand new wide white wall radial tires. Really is an improvement in overall handling, feel for the road, safety, all that stuff comes hand in hand. Love the full uh, hubcaps and of course they'll say Pontiac right on them. You know, they really tried to let you know what the cars were. That was something really neat. 1953. Looking at the inside of the car, again, this is the Chieftain. She's the top of the line, really has all the neat stuff. Look at this. All remember, all these cars in the 50s, everything was special ordered. If you wanted to have, you know, the side mirror like this with a spotlight, that was something you had to check off. You wanted an AM radio, you had to check it off. You wanted a clock, check it off. All those things were done individually in cars back in that day. They didn't have like what today package deals where you don't really have much say. I mean, it's just one of those things that was really nice. Gave you an opportunity to kind of differentiate your car, if you will, make it more to your desires the way that you really wanted it. No, looking at the inside of the car, very original, original dash, 100 mile an hour speedometer. Uh, Pontiac did have some nice gauges. They didn't all rely on quote unquote idiot lights because once that oil light came on in most cases you were probably already an idiot because you already blew up your motor because the oil light came on and you didn't check it. Whereas this actually has a water temperature, oil pressure gauge, battery and fuel gauge as well. Like I said, original AM radio. 
Uh, beautiful, actually, the two-tone, the white and green leather interior. Um, again, this was a top-of-the-line car for 1953, and it has a power top. Another one of those things that's really nice on a car of this size. Just a flick of a switch, put the top up just like that, and it's all done. Nice condition, too, by the way. It really looks nice when you put the top up. Some cars look better with the top down. Some look, this one actually looks good both ways. The other thing about it, uh, that chrome piece that runs down the hood also runs down the trunk. Just another carry through for all the you know, Pontiac fans out there. And a beautiful, spacious trunk. Oh my goodness, if you go to the local golf course or whatever, you can throw in a couple sets of clubs. No problem whatsoever. The other thing I'm still liking of cars and I wish they would come back with are vent windows. The vent windows are just a really nice feature. You know, most of these cars, of course, didn't have air conditioning, so any way you could get extra air into the engine or into the passenger compartment, it was really, really nice. Nice leg room, comfortably can sit six people in this car without so much as a flinch. Another one of the interesting uh, options it has, if I remember, it does have the backup lights, which is another thing, which is kind of a nice option to have, even in 1953. Now you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and now TikTok as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe. We appreciate it very much. Plus you'll get all the information, uh, the current cars that we have in inventory, this one included, our new ones on our website as well. And as an added bonus, there are cars that we have sold over the years. If you're a car nut and you like to just learn about old cars, t check out those sites because they'll have cars we've had over the last several years as well. Lots of them, a lot of stuff comes and goes. So if you see your dream car at Ellington, sometimes it's best to act a little quickly because there's probably somebody else out there thinking the same thing you are. They're going, that would look really good in my garage. Now, if you're like me, you're going to say, I love the video, Scott. It's great. I mean, it shows all the details. I love all, the, all that kind of stuff. But I got to come down in person. Well, you're more than welcome to come in. Ellingson Motor Cars is open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5, and Saturday is 10 to 4 for your uh, ability to come in and physically touch them, see them, sit in them, all those necessary things. Now, we can help you with all kinds of things. If you say, I, I need help getting financing on my collector vehicle, I need shipping, all those sort of things, we certainly have some sources that you can go to that we can uh, help you out with that, those needs. Now, you can give us a call at 763-428-7337, and everybody here, we will do our very best to answer any and all questions you may have on this car or any of our other cars in inventory. Well, I guess I have to say, you know, I didn't see very many 53 Pontiacs. It was probably one of those years you didn't see a lot of them. Big changeover. Pontiac was doing well. You remember you had the Korean War that you were dealing with. Funny story. One time a fellow said he went to go buy his new 53 car, and you couldn't get white wall tires because of the war or whatever. And the guy said, if you can find me white wall tires, I'll buy the car. They had a set stashed up in the rafters. They put the tires on the car, and the guy bought the car. Just one of those things that you know we don't think of as a problem, but back in that time frame, a little more challenging perhaps to get the white wall, which really does make the car look exceptionally good. Well, thank you again for watching our video. And again, any questions, give us a call at 763-428-7337 or check out our website at ellingsonmotorcars.com. Thank you, and see you again next time.